Welcome to a special edition of The Low Blow. I am Jorge Hernandez with uscombatsports.com. Remember that you can reach us on Twitter at The Low Blow or uscombatsports.com. Also our Facebook page, The Low Blow Boxing MMA Podcast. Today, we have the pleasure of being joined by current WBA World Lightweight, WBO Lightweight, former IBS Super Featherweight, and IBF Featherweight Champion, the pride of Gilroy Califas, California, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Robert, it is a pleasure and an honor to have you. How are you? All right. It's nice being on, and uh, I'm doing great. Okay, so Robert, on Saturday, August 27th in San Jose, California at the HP Pavilion, you'll be taking up, uh, you'll be moving up to challenge and, and wait the hard-hitting Argentine Marcos Rene Maidana for the WBA Super Lightweight title. So how do you feel about this opportunity? Um, oh, I feel great about it. I'm excited, uh, you know, jumping into 140 pounds and then, um, you know, also jumping into fight Marcos Maidana, who's uh, the WBO, uh, or the WBA world champion. So, uh, you know, I'll be fighting for uh, my sixth world title and, uh, you know, my fourth weight division. So, uh, you know, I'm very excited about that also. And this is, this will actually be the heaviest that you've ever fought at. How's, how's training going and how's the weight coming along? Um, training's going great. Uh, you know, everything, uh, everything's going the way it should be going. I'm out here in, uh, in Big Bear, California. So, uh, you know, I'm in the high elevation getting that, uh, you know, that good work and good sparring. And, um, you know, a lot, a lot of the, uh, you know, making the weight adjustment had to do with, uh, with, um, you know, my nutrition and, and adjustments and the diet. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm a 5'9", you know, a pretty big guy for, for lightweight already. So, uh, you know, 140 pounds is, is not too bad to make. So, I'm, you know, I feel good. I feel strong and fast. And did Maidana's fight with Khan actually help in the bl- blueprint and the script of how you and your father, uh, Ruben Guerrero, that you guys actually came up with? Um, yeah, I think so. I think a little couple of things uh, I seem not to capitalize on, on um, you know, what Khan was doing. But, uh, you know, it changes things up because I'm a left-handed fighter. So, um, you know, you got to pretty much, uh, you got to blueprint your own, uh, your own game plan and, and go off of that. But, um, you know, I also seen a lot of things that Eric Morales did good with this fight with Madonna. And, um, you know, you, you just pick things here and there and, um, you know, you, you go from there. But, um, you know, the main thing is doing your own study and coming up with the, your game plan because, uh, you know, styles make fights and every fighter fights other fighters different. So, um, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta really prepare for Marcus Madonna and, and, and have a, have a really sharp game plan. I think you are one of the handful of guys that can actually brawl and box, and I think you definitely display that in that Michael Katsidis fight. Do you think this fight will be similar? Do you see, do you see Michael Katsidis and Marcos Maidana as similar styles or similar fighters? Um, yeah, to a degree, I do see a, a similar style with the pressure and, um, you know, the hard punching. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the one thing is that, that's a little difference between them is... Um, is Michael Casitas has more of a boxing, more of a boxing style, and um, Marcus Magana is, uh, you know, he's more unorthodox. He, he throws punches off balance, throws, uh, you know, punches from weird angles. So, uh, you know, it, it, you, you got to really be on your toes, and, and uh, you know, you always got to got to make sure your defense is sharp with it with him because punches come from nowhere. So how have the folks there at a, in the Bay Area been treating you? I was actually there in San Jose when the fight was first announced and, you know, the buzz that happened just on the web and just locally, just even talking to people was, was amazing. I, or they love you out there in the Bay Area. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I got a, I got a great, uh, great uh, fan base out there in the Bay Area. Um, you know, there, there's uh, not very many champions out there. And, um, you know, for the first time, there, there's three world champions in the Bay Area. You know Andre Ward, Nate Pedonier, and myself. So, um, you know the the buzz about uh, buzz about boxing and, and world champions is going around out there. So, um, you know it, it, it's exciting. Uh, you know all the fans are real excited because uh, I haven't been, uh, you know, fighting in the base for for a good, you know, two and a half years already. So, uh, you know, to come back and, and to be fighting the HBO fight um, with uh, Marcos Magana and. and um, you know, pretty much it's champion fighting champion. Uh, you know, I'm the champion at 135 pounds, the champion at 140. So, um, you know, it's two champions colliding, and, you know, it's, it's going to be a big event. So everybody's excited. This is a, one of those fights you've got to go to Vegas to watch it. Um, you know, they're having it right here, hometown in the Bay Area. So, you know, everybody's so excited about it. Uh, I'm excited, and, uh, you know, I just can't wait to get out there and, and, you know, go out there and perform and do what I do best. 
How how did that actually come about? How did the business go about that you actually got this fight in your hometown? Because when I actually heard about it, I was I was a little surprised, but then it was great to see for that region, especially with, I guess, the revitalization of boxing in the Bay Area. Um, well, it's just about, a, you know, HBO, HBO actually gave me the date. So, um, you know, the uh, Golden Boy thought it was best, and my management, hey, you know, why don't we bring it back out here to the Bay Area and, uh, you know, I have a big fight. Uh, you know, I have a big following out there, and, you know, the fight's going to be good. So, uh, you know, they, they uh, decided to have it out there, and, um, you know, so far, it's so good. I mean, everything's been going good, you know. Now it's just, uh, you know, stay focused and, and get in that ring and do your job. And are there any other, uh, I mean, not to overlook this fight or anything, are there any other fighters in this new weight class that you would actually like to fight or, or go against now, especially after it's oh, such a huge opportunity right now that you're having with Maidana? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, this opens up the door for a lot of big mega fights. Um, you got Timothy Bradley. You got Amir Khan. You got Devin Alexander. You got Eric Morales, who's in the mix again. Um, you know, out of 47, you got Mayweather, Ortiz. You got Manny Pacquiao. I mean, it's just right now the weight class is on fire. You got Andre Berto. Uh, I mean, there's so many, so many big fights in chat. You know, within that that weight, you know, stand right there, 140, 147. I mean, it, it, it's unbelievable, and it, it's exciting. So, uh, you know, the focus is Marcus Magana, take care of business. You know, fight night, and, and it opens up a lot of doors. Excellent. And I do want to sh uh, shift gears just a little bit. In, uh, in May of this year, the Boxing Writers Association of America presented you with the Bill Crawford Award for Courage in Overcoming Adversity. I mean, in late 2007, your wife Casey was diagnosed with leukemia. You even gave up your featherweight title just to, to be with her. And uh, how, how did that actually feel receiving the award? And how is your wife doing? And how does she remain an inspiration for you? Um. She's doing great. Right now, she's been cancer free for um, a year and a half going on now. And, um, you know, thank God for that. Everything's going great with her. Um, you know, it, 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 it's an honor. It's an honor to get the Bill Crawford Award where, um, you know, for courage. And, and um, you know, it's nice to, to see that, um, you know, the, you know, the Writers Association, you know, they recognize that, you know, this guy, he's not just, you know, a good fighter, but also, you know, he's a good man and a good husband outside of the ring where, you know, I left the left the world championship. Um, you know, one of the biggest fights in my career coming up, and just vacated it all, and just you know, focused on what I have to do with my family. So, um, you know, it, it it it's nice to get the award. It truly is an honor, and um, you know, it it, it just it, it just shows and, and proves to the world that um, you know, us fighters are, are very very you know, family oriented and and good men just in general. So. Um, you know, it, it's nice. It's nice to receive the award and, and um, you know, put that to the collection and, and always, uh, you know, always appreciate, um, you know, all the fans and, and everybody that's out there that, that supports you. Mm -hmm. And just from looking from the outside, I mean, it seems like your family's pretty tight. You have your father there as a trainer, and it seems like you have a pretty close knit uh, uh, family. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh yeah, um, you know, we're we're tight family. Um, you know, we 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 always together. Um, you know, we, we keep it real tight, you know, back home. Uh, you know, we only have a very few friends, and, and um, you know, everybody else is acquaintances. But, you know, mainly it's those families sticking together and, um, you know, supporting each other. And, and, and uh, I think that, that's a huge, uh, huge uh, uh, part of, um, you know, the success in my career also is having that backing, you know, by your family and, and everybody sticking together. So, um, you know, it, it, it is awesome, too, that to have, you know, my father as my trainer and, and you know, winning five world championships with him, I mean, it's, it's awesome. And then also having my, my younger brother, Eric, where, where he's my father's assistant and helps me out with all my exercises and everything, and, and you know, with that. So, um, you know, everybody plays their role and, and, and support, and, um, you know, it, it's awesome. It's awesome. So, uh, you know, I, I really, uh, really love it. And, and, you know, I think uh, without family, uh, you ain't anything. I also understand that uh, there's a documentary currently being done uh, on you, directed by Andrew Johnson and produced also by uh, Rebecca Taff. What can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, the, the documentary coming out is going to be awesome. Uh, you know, I can't wait till that gets till that comes out. Um, you know, it, it. I mean, the story, the story, you know, of, of my career and my family life all put together. I mean, it really is touching. Um, 
you know, even I kind of get choked up when I really think about it. I'm, I'm always that, that mentally strong guy where, um, you know, when, when my wife was going through the cancer and the bone marrow transplant and, and all the chemo and, and radiation, I was the one that had to be strong and always be there in front of her with a smile to, to cheer her up and, and always, um, you know, try to, try to, you know, try to make the day bright for her. So, um, you know, when I, when I look back on it and I, and I look at it from the outside looking in, it's like, wow, wow. I can't believe I, I tagged up through all that. So, um, you know, the, the, the documentary is just going to be so awesome where, um, you know, when people see it, it's going to give them that hope and, and um, you know, that fight, fighting through cancer with my wife and my wife going through everything she's going to do and also, you know, having to do the training, the family, and, and put all that together with boxing and, and you know, what, what, we had, what we had to go through as a family and, and, and just, to, to, just to stay afloat and, and get through, you know, through her fighting for her life, um, you know, the story really is touching and, um, you know, I think it really is going to inspire a lot of people, um, you know, not, not just boxing fans, but just people in general where there's that person out there all the time that is down because of a family member sick or someone who is sick. And when they see the story, wow, look at, they got through it. They truck through, you know, they just kept going forward and, and didn't look back and, it turned out all right. So I, I really think uh, the story is going to impact a lot of people. And personally, I think that you've already affected a lot of people positively, and you are that drive, that example that individuals can take and apply to their life as well for both you and your wife, Casey. I think definitely are inspiration to all of us. Hey, thank you. And so um, this just a couple of ways people can get it. Reach out to you. You have a Facebook.com slash forward slash ghost fans. You're at your Twitter, at ghostboxing.com. You also got a website, robertguerrero.com. Uh, tickets are still available uh, for your fight, and they start as low as $26. Uh, I mean, that's one heck of a deal. Uh, people can go to goldenboypromotions.com or the HP Pavilion site, hppsj.com. Robert Guerrero, go ahead and boost your fight that's coming up August 27th. Hey, I want everybody to check it out, you know. If you can't make it out, watch it on HBO. It's going to be one of those amazing fights where you don't want to miss uh, my style, Marcus McGowan's style matchup for uh, for one of those fights to remember, um, you know, for years to come. So I'm excited about this. I I've been in training camp for uh, six weeks now in Big Bear. Marcus McGowan has been in training camp in, in Puerto Rico for, I think, eight weeks now. So, you know, we're both going to be super ready to go, and, and we both come to fight. So, um, you know, I, I recommend that if you can't get out, and see it live, which that's the best, because you see all the action, um, you know, watch it on HBO because it it, it is going to be an amazing fight, and I'm very excited about this, and, and, and I know the boxing world is excited about it, so, uh, you know, make sure everybody tunes in. Robert, it was a pleasure having you. We'd love to have you back one more time here. For all of us here at The Low Blow and uscombatsports.com, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you guys for having me. I really had a good time. Yeah, and remember, uh, you can catch uh, the posting of this uh, interview uh, at The Low Blow on our Twitter page and also our fan book page, The Low Blow MMA Boxing Podcast on Facebook, as well as uscombatsports.com. For Robert Guerrero and everyone else here at The Low Blow, we'd like to thank you all for listening. Have a great day. <laughs>